Hello beautiful people. Thanks for joining me once again in another mountain biking video and today I'm going to do a review on these Flow Motorsports Pro 120 levers. I'm going to talk about how easy or difficult it is to install them. Number two, I'm going to go ahead and give them a test drive. And number three, I'm going to tell you the pros and cons about these levers. So if you're ready, let's go. Hard on the brakes here. <laughs> uh oh. Where is this? Nice and let go of the brakes. I'll tell you the backstory of why I purchased these levers. A couple of weeks ago, I was out in Santa Cruz riding with my brother, and we went down this simple slope. It was rutted and it was muddy, and I just had a very simple fall got up nothing happened to me but when i started riding i tried to hit that brake the lever was missing so and that's what led me to start looking for a replacement lever i went through about six bike shops all of them said the same thing they couldn't find them and when they found them they were in back order about four to five months in some occasions until i went to my seventh bike shop and there was a guy there who told me about these brand new levers. At first I wasn't too sure because I like original stuff on the bike, but he mentioned that the flow, they make a mechanism that allows the lever to flex forward. So if you have those falls, it'll help you from not breaking them off. So let's unbox our Pro 120 levers. Comes with a very nice package, nice foam to protect our levers. Okay, we got a sticker and some instructions. I think we're good. Let's go put them on the bike. So topic number one, let's go ahead and replace the existing levers with the brand new ones. I read and reread the instructions a couple of times. I even watched a video from Flow Motorsports and that person on that video made it seem so simple. Um, the instructions is that you're going to need a needle nose and an L wrench, a two millimeter L wrench. So let's start. So first things first, we're actually going to remove a little rubber gasket in here. So I'm going to use a 1.5 millimeter L wrench to get this out. And I dropped it. <laughs> I found my rubber cap. Don't lose it. That way you could put it back later on with the new levers. So at this point, grab your two millimeter L wrench and we're gonna loosen up this screw. Let's go to the left, give it a couple of turns. This is kind of hard holding the camera and <laughs> doing it with the other hand. All right, I think that's good enough. Now that we've loosened the screw, now we have to actually release this pin right here. So just uh, apply a little bit of pressure and let's loosen it up first. I've been trying to do it, but I can't. So I'm going to grab my little uh, chisel and hammer. See if we can get it out. Okay. At this point, and there is a metal spring in there. So make sure you don't drop it or lose it. Now that we replaced the old one, we're going to go ahead and put the brand new one in. If you don't know which direction the brand new lever goes, it says flow in the front. So just make sure it's upright. <laughs> okay. So uh, come to your bike. There's two holes on the lever. Go ahead and put it in. And then we're going to go ahead and put our pin back in that hole and go ahead and put it in just halfway. Now that we're going to go ahead and install the spring, make sure that the long portion of that spring is facing the inwards of the bicycle. So let's go ahead and install it. Last part, let's go back and grab our two millimeter L wrench and screw it back in. Just finished installing the second lever. So how difficult is it to install these levers? I'm going to give it from a scale from 1 to 10, a 3. The installation 
was pretty straightforward, pretty simple. Where I ran into problems or difficulties is removing the old ones. Just because the pin was a little bit of a pain to get out. At least the one on the left. The one on the right came out very easy. And then while unscrewing the old ones, I broke my Ellen wrench. <laughs> but other than that, it's a piece of cake. It's very simple, very easy. So far, so good. So let's go try them out. Let's go test them. Let's go. I'm out here in my local trails and I'm ready to test out these new levers. There's a couple of things I'm gonna be checking on. Number one, do they feel good? Number two, are they sturdy? I mean, do they feel right like the originals? They are an aftermarket part. Do they feel flimsy or are they nice and steady? To make this test a little bit better or not to be biased, I went ahead and I bleeded out my brakes. I cleaned out my rotor. I put new brake pads and I'm checking to see if these brand new flow levers feel like the original Elsa Lex levers. So in order to do so, I have to write down something steep, something a little bit gnarly, somewhere that I'm going to be really using or engaging my brakes. That's why I'm out here. There's a nice ravine up here that starts all the way over there. It has a couple of drops and it ends up in this steep descent. So are you ready? Let's go try them out. So I think I found the trail. Here we go. Let's go test them. Going into the levers. Pretty rutted here. A lot of loose dirt. I'm really getting into those levers. Ah, I'm modulating my brakes. Woo. Okay, first little section completed. Brakes are looking fine. Next one. Here you go. Okay, on the levers, on the brakes. Easy, easy. Nice and slow, nice and slow. Here we go. Ah, nice. Woo. So rutted. I go with the brakes. Uh, slow down for the next section. Woo. There we come. There's some hikers down there, so let's be careful. Okay, it's on my line. Got it. Nice and easy. What's up, fellas? So where's my line? Por acá. Here we go. Okay. Woo. Hard on the brakes here. <laughs> Uh-oh. Where is this? Nice and let go of the brakes. Woo. All right. The levers were great. They're awesome. <laughs> Woo! Best purchase ever. Woo! Topic number three. The pros and cons about these Pro 120 levers. Pro. The levers feel really good. When I was riding that steep hill, very good modulation. They felt nice and sturdy. And they actually felt more comfortable than the originals this adjustment lever was really good to adjust and get that good distance or that good feel of my hand very good pros cons they were just a little bit pricey i paid 95 dollars plus tax but it was well worth it just because everything else was sold out no one had actual levers on stock so i could recommend these levers in the words of Tony the Tiger, these levers are great. <laughs> Definitely, I recommend these levers. These levers are the next C pose. At the beginning, people were iffy about the C pose, but now even the roadies have C posed. So, this is a call to all the manufacturers like uh, Specialized, Santa Cruz, or Bea. Uh, track giants and everybody else 
if you really want to sell good bikes, if you want to have an edge on the competition, you should definitely think about selling your bike stock with the Flow Pro 120 levers. Just my recommendation. So family, friends, thanks for joining me on this review of the Pro 120 levers. Hey, I definitely recommend them. Go get yourself a pair and I'll see you out there. So have fun, enjoy life, and keep riding. Until next time.